Um, so cholangic carcinoma is, is one of the Cinderella cancers that's been largely ignored over the last uh, 10, 20 years, uh, primarily because it's uncommon and uh, because of that, there's been a very low profile and uh, a correspondingly low amount of interest from, 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 from physicians and also from research organizations. Uh, getting money to do research into cholangic carcinoma is very difficult. Uh, the, uh, the primary treatment for advanced cholangic carcinoma, so this is cholangic carcinoma that cannot be operated on, um, this, this is in fact the majority of patients, is chemotherapy. And we've demonstrated that two types of chemotherapy are modestly effective. Uh, and those have been the trials that we've done in the last 15 years or so. This, uh, this new treatment is completely different. It relies on uh, genetic profiling. And what happens is that you use the biopsy that was taken originally from the cancer and you run that through a sequencer and it tells you whether the, your particular cancer has one of about five or six genes that can be, that can be targeted. Uh, so uh, these five or six genes, in the case we're talking about with the FGFR gene, these genes are the bad guys. They are the troublemakers that have caused the cancer to grow uncontrollably. And the, the, this advanced, the, this drug that we have now have for this, pemigatinib, directly targets the FGFR gene. And this is, this is very, very good in a number of ways. Firstly, it's, uh, it's a targeted therapy. It just, just takes out the, the bad cells in the cancer, it leaves all your good cells alone. So it's not like chemotherapy, which takes everything out and, and just, um, and it, it does not discriminate between your normal cells and the cancer cells. This takes primarily completely takes out the cancer cells alone. And as such uh, is uh, more effective than chemotherapy and also uh, has much fewer side effects. And so, so this is a real game changer for patients with cholangiocarcinoma.